What is popping, guys? This is your boy Ultimate Beaster. Welcome back to another crispy, clean Wizard 101 Fire and Ice walkthrough episode. G. If you're new to this epic series, what I do is make one wizard but make him Fire and Ice a master of both of the schools. So I hope you're enjoying this journey and make sure you like, subscribe, and turn the notification button to keep up the crispy, clean Wizard 101 and Power 101 content walkthrough of these guys' giveaways, even novice. Make sure you stay on the channel for that content. Test room is up right now, and I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff for it. I hope you enjoy all the content, and let's get started right to the madness, G. Row, row, row your boat. <laughs> Gently down these shreemy. Oh, there's a teleporter down here. I am just stupid and just ran right past it. Did I not? There is. Pay attention. Freak, wrong one. Big boy. I pulled bigger things than you out of my nose. Congratulations. Who are you? And wash it up. It's clear to me why you've come. You want the golden seal that will keep my father in his great sleep. Four tests I place before you. You must demonstrate your superiority in strategy, wits, charm, and strength. Oh, that's four categories. If you would have my golden seal, you must defeat the most cunning of my allies, Skegis Forkbeak. He dwells in a small shack next to my hall. You may have passed it on your way here. Defeat him and return here. Return. Mark time, baby. I saw you sniffing around Ostry's Hall. What brings you here? Why are you stalking me, though? Mamir dwells at the Well of Erd in Rundlefjord, guarded by the three Njorns. Tell him I sent you. A ghost is guarded. A ghost. Tight. That makes sense. You don't see anyone nearby. That rope looks suspicious. Does Mimir actually live in the well? There is only one way to find out. I feel like there's so much bass in my headphone right now. The music vibes. It's, it's, it's radiating and shaking through my skull fracture. I don't know. Who trespasses in my well? I'll send you to the coldest corner of the afterlife. Ah, not me. Me. You got 6k health. Are you freaking kidding me? Lock in. Perfect. <laughs> the good damage right there, but boy. Why am I getting diced though? This is unacceptable behavior. I'm gonna go to hell if on you, bro. Let me load up. Enchant this. Low key enchant that. To be honest, you can use this. You can't use it because you fizzled it, by the way. <laughs> Whoa, what the freak was that? That shield saved his life. I low-key low just got to combo this kid because... He's getting, he's getting fucked. That did it actually tight. That got rough for no reason. You have my apologies for the misunderstanding. I was not expecting guests. No wonder you don't get any because I kill everybody. You have certainly strayed from the beaten path, Outlander. What brings you here? Skegis sent you to learn to play Thane's table at my hand? I want to learn Uno. That's wise. If he taught you himself, then he might not get the most of the game, and he might try to cheat. Very well. I'll teach you how to play, but I'm so very hungry and so very cold. I'm in no mood to teach yet. You're literally a ghost. You don't eat. Fetch me a loaf of Regan Wildleaf's harvest bread, and I'll teach you to beat Skagis Forkbeak at his game. It just doesn't make sense. It, it, it just doesn't. And talking animals, too. That don't make literal sense either. You carefully gather some honey without angering the hive. Maybe the bees were expecting a bear. That smells delicious. Honey, too? You are indeed a generous guest. I, I won't make you watch me eat it. <laughs> After all, you're here to learn how to play Thane's table. Let me start. You got no game board. Mir teaches you not only the basics imaginary. of Thane's table, but some advanced rules and some strategy. When he is finished teaching you the game, you think you can teach Skegis a thing or two. And that's all I can teach you. You are a good student. I think you will surprise Skegis when you play. 
Ready to play some things, table? Excellent. Level up. Lay your pieces out on the board and let's get started. What's that? You don't have any pieces? Is this some kind of jest? Most Thanes table players supply their own pieces. I no longer have a spare set. The Frostbones took mine. Why do the thieves always just take stuff they can't use or mobs take stuff they can't use? If you want to recover my spare set, you're more than welcome to go and get it from the Frostbones that took it. They take it and just walk around the same circle with it. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. That shield. I'm sorry. I got aggressive. I, I slammed on my desk. I apologize. I'm sorry. Wasn't deserved. Low key. He drops a beautiful set of playing pieces. They're made of carved bone. Perhaps a relative? And well, now that you're ready, let's begin to the Thanes table. Skegis is a master at the mm -hmm. game. Every move is deliberate, calculating, and without hesitation. You lose your sense of time while playing. It is difficult to keep track of the rules and advice Mimir gave you. Skegis pauses and leans back. The game is over and the winner all but decided. You think you've lost, but then why is Skegis frowning? You look again and realize you won. Because I'm OP. I'm OP. Got here. Mamiya taught you well. You can tell us three that you bested me in strategy. Mm, good. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. Bro, I'm too OP. I killed Malice there, so nobody can touch me on any level. That took a while. I was sure you fled. How did you do? So, you've beat Skegis in a game of Thane's Table. Which shows you are a master of strategy. Power 101 vibes. This next challenge will be no easy matter. You must defeat my riddle master at a game of wits. His name is Grond, and he dwells in a village not far from here. Go and challenge him to the riddle game. Grond is riddle master of Oskreland, famousest in all Grizzleheim. What is your name? You tell Grond your name. You pretty good at riddle game. You win. Grond did not even know answer to that one. I beat the nigga already. I beat him already, bro, bro. He's trash. That was your man's, Austrid? Austrid, that was your man's. That was your guy. Okay, I defeat the champion. The challenge of charm can't be won as easily. You will have to convince a warrior to part with his weapon. The wolves have been causing me no end of trouble, and none more so than their chief, Garm Moonstalker. His spear is a thorn in my side, so I'll be wanting it from him. But you must win it without harming him. Go and take Garm's spear from him. He won't give it up easily, so be warned. You can find him in the wolf camp. I must get it without harming him. Oh there, Outlander. You must be the one who helped my cousins in the Murkholm. So, friend, I welcome you. How can I help you? Be warned, my time is short. I have many boars to defeat. Ostri's thugs are endless. You wish to take my spear? I would gladly give it up if it meant my foes were all defeated. I mean, that makes logical sense. Yes. I can't even be mad at that. <laughs> that makes sense. Usually our petty is free. Still as good as free. Fit. That was it. Do not worry. I have several others ready to use against the boars. That was light work. I appreciate that. God, I love that. When, when they just just gave it up. Paul, like when, you know what I mean? They not making you go back and forth with the whole dumb stuff of like, you know what I mean? Fighting different minions and crap. That's what I mean. Okay, free. Shut up. Garm Spear. Now with this in my hands, he is rendered powerless. My boars will make short work of him. The final test you shall face is the test of strength. 
I will not mince words. It is a battle you must win. There is a cave near my hall, and in it is a fearsome ice troll named Sulkir. He is my mightiest champion. Go there, face Sulkir in battle, and return to claim the Golden Seal. There are no further conditions. Kinda sounds easy enough. But I feel like it's not. Spider sense, give me telepathy. Telepathy, not telepathy. Low key, this might be a My club is hungry. Step on over here so I can feed it. I'm gonna use dragon to keep the bean with you. I ain't playing no games. I'm sorry. Ice, we're schooling Wiz. I'm calling now. Minion is fried. Appreciate it. Bye bye. <laughs> That man come, he, he don't come to play. Okay, respect. Oh my god. I'm dragoning. Jesus, this is a close calls. Overtime didn't even take him to freak out yet. I swear. Thank God, he's terrible. GG! You are worthy opponent. It's not worthy enough. One episode, that's litness. I was sure you'd meet your doom at Sulkir's hands, but I'm impressed at the outcome. You can have this golden seal. I wish you luck with my brothers. They'll not be so easy to bargain with. I feel like you're right. Vestry is the next of us you'll need to talk to. He rules Vestrilund, to the west of Hrundle Fjord. The gate to Vestrilund is locked, shut fast by the Coven. A magic lock that cannot be forced or picked. A raven named Grimaldi Keymaker lives to the south of my hall. He is no friend to the Coven, but knows locks. I have not seen Grimaldi in years. But if anyone will know how to open the lock to Vestrilund, it is Grimaldi. You should go speak to Grimaldi and see if he can make you a key. Then take the golden seal to Grandmother Raven. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this crispy clean episode of the Fire and Ice Walkthrough Series G. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell to keep up with the crispy Wizard 101 and Power 101 content. And make sure you stay tuned for the next episode of the Fire and Ice Series and for Novus and for giveaways and reviews and all the greatness on the channel that is delicious. So I hope you enjoy and I will see y'all later in the next video of live stream. Have a wonderful day, G. Peace.